Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Um, we're working on something a little bit different. I'll be working on my wife's Avalon. She has a 2016 Avalon and it has this um, issue with the um, door grip. This is fake leather. It keeps peeling off. You can see these fake leather just keeps coming off. It's it's not good. Not what I expected from Toyota. You know, they typically build pretty good quality vehicles. It's just this stuff right here. So we're going to fix that. And today I'm going to show you how. First step is to pop this door part off. To pop it off, we got to remove a couple of screws. There's a couple of uh, tabs that need to be that need to come off as well, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to pop this little plastic piece out. I typically use my fingers. Just grab it right here and pull, and it comes right out, just like that. That's it. There's one tab that holds it in place here. Then there's a little push pin screw here. All you gotta do is, I, I have a Phillips head. I just push it in, boom. Then grab your uh, pin removal tool. Should be able to get under there. Yeah, it's a little push pin right here. Just push it in, comes out. When you put it in, just click it once, that's it, it's in. All right, next step, door handle. There's a little plastic cover right here. You can finally see it move. I typically use a plastic right here piece that doesn't scratch or dent anything. Just kind of pop it open, pull your door handle, and then it comes right out. And behind there, there's a little screw. Use your screwdriver, take that one out. That's it. There's a screw inside this thing, which I take out as well. That's it. This whole piece needs to pop out as well. And I'll show you how to do that. So I use my little plastic tool right here. There it goes. Gonna help it. Okay, so okay, so once you pop this out, there's a connector under here that you want to disconnect, and there's another one under there, and I'll show you how to do all that as well. I guess the first connector is pretty easy. There's a little tab right in here. Press that tab, the connector comes right out. Right, you got to be careful with prying this piece up a little bit, just so you don't break this part that goes down here. Don't go up too high. But once again, I use my tool. I press on it right here, and the connector should come right out. It's pretty easy. Boom, boom, that's it. Connector came right out. All right, once it's taken this whole um, piece right here out, uh, you have two more screws. You got one in here, and you got this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out real quick. Now coming in the bottom, you have this light in here. Once again, using your plastic tool so you don't scratch anything. You kind of want to slide it. It'll go in there, pop it out, and you want to unplug it. Unplug it like that, and that's it. Set it aside. Now that we got everything out of the way, this whole door trim should just pop right out. I typically start on the bottom. Just start yanking on it. Right. Comes right out. Just like that. You gotta remember to disconnect your um, door handle cables. So I'll show you where they go in just a second once I free up my hand. The white one goes on top, goes slides in here, and clips into here. And the other one slides into the door handle, slides in here, and clips into here, and that's it. All right, I'm in the house now. Sorry if you guys hear my baby in the background. 
but these screws right here on the back there's one two three four five i believe and that's the sixth one they all gotta come out once you take them out unfortunately i believe these plastic tabs will need to be broken as well to get it out completely so let's get started There are four plastic welded tabs that's holding it. There's one, two, three, four. Now the way to take them out is to get a drill and drill them out. And that's what we're gonna do. I ain't got my drill, I'm gonna try to drill them out. got it that's it and you can see how badly worn this is right here looks like they tried to they try to fix it with uh, I don't know some kind of paste black paste but that's not how you fix it. and the seam is coming apart right here as well so I'm gonna have I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off should come off pretty easily as you can see it comes right off I'm gonna get my pliers and pull these um, staples out. I didn't have my, uh, I couldn't find any good pliers, but a screwdriver will do the job. Besides, these staples are pretty small. I'm trying to show you. That's it right there. They're not that long, they're easy to take out. So this is what I got. As you can see how thin this is compared to this, I don't know, this is much thicker. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is a much durable material and it doesn't stretch it like, um, like this one does. You can just stretch it and when you stretch it, this happens, right? It starts cracking. This one doesn't stretch. So I'm hoping this will last longer. So I need to trim about an inch off and get some scissors and get to cutting. So my goal is I already marked this, but my goal is to kind of match the corners of the old one. So I'm gonna straighten them out, put them on here, trace them, and then cut them out as well. That should be it. I hope.
Oh yeah. That's it. So what I'll be using is this uh, Scotch Super 77. It's a 3M uh, multi-purpose adhesive. I say that's not half bad, if you ask me. That looks pretty dang good. Alright, I apologize for the bad lighting, but now it's just putting everything back together.